Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection and I am finally back. So tonight we're going to be opening up the brand new release in 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball. Pre-ordered a case of Hobby and it arrived today right on time. So really excited to get into one of these on release day. Topps Chrome, always my favorite release of the year. Last year I ended up buying a case of Jumbos at the National. Didn't have the best luck. Uh, with the jumbo so i wanted to pivot this year and try my luck on the hobbies but apologies for the uh recent uh pause and videos i was pretty sick the last few weeks and i'm finally starting to feel like myself again so i'm gonna start gradually uh, rolling out the videos again and this case of chrome will definitely provide for a nice chunk of content so let's get right into this i've been seeing a lot of nice hits coming out of this uh on twitter and stuff in the internet and we're looking for the big rookie parallels of Ellie De La Cruz, Jackson Holiday, Wyatt Langford, Jason Dominguez, Jordan uh, Yamamoto, not Jordan Yamamoto, um, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and a bunch of other big heavy hitters. So let me know in the comments below if you plan on opening any 2024 Topps Chrome. I know the price point's pretty high, but haven't bought anything in a while, so wanted to treat myself and they are doing the buyback the bottom left of this box was a little uh crimped so a little crushed so hopefully i'm going to open the bottom left stack first and hopefully there's no damage but the top uh two left boxes both had a little like crushed bottom left corner so hopefully no harm no foul let's get into it 2024 tops chrome I think Ellie De La Cruz is the main guy I'm looking for. Added a bunch of new parallels, inserts, short prints. It's Ken Griffey Jr. autographs. I think those might be exclusive to Breakers Delight boxes, but correct me if I'm wrong, I'm still didn't do too, too much research on it. I know they expanded the checklist. We've got a Corbin Carroll for our first insert, Strokes. Nice looking card there. Had a lot of fun watching the All-Star game last night. Paul Skeens uh, opening it up. Got to pitch against Soto and Judge back-to-back. -back. That was awesome. I thought the NL had it in the bag when Otani went yard with the three-run shot, but the AL marched right back and ended up winning 5-3. to three. Jaron Duran, the go-ahead two-run shot. Here's our first refractor, Freddie Freeman. So these cards look really nice. QC looks pretty solid so far. I think for the hobbies, you're seeing like two to three numbered cards per box. So hopefully we get around that uh, point, but it looks like these cards aren't damaged. So luckily um, we didn't get short end of that stick, but we got a nice all etch Corey Seager. He had a ball in the all-star game last night. I thought that was way gone. It just went to the track, unfortunately, but I'm sure he had a blast playing in his uh, home field. Next up, we got a Hunter Goodman rookie, Kyle Harrison, Nolan Jones, and a Yuri Perez refractor. Ooh, there's our first Jackson Holiday. Like that pose a lot. Get that one sleeved up. Get him on a stand. Not sure if we'll be seeing him this year or not. Maybe. Maybe later in the year, but obviously didn't uh, have the best luck in his debut. But here's the future stars insert, Kodai Sanga. Check out the design on that. Hopefully Kodai will be back soon to help, help uh, bolster the Mets' second half run. Hoping that they carry that momentum, that they finish the first uh, half. I think they have, uh, right now, they're in third place wild card spot nick gonzalez jack flaherty and here's our autograph coco montez so that's a tough auto not gonna lie coco montez it's tough with the expanded checklist so um oof, that's terrible <laughs> but 
that's the that's the part the game we play so that's going to be our autograph we got 11 more boxes after this there's the prism refractor cody bellinger we're officially one quarter of the way through the box really appreciate everybody tuning in if you so kindly could please hit that like button let me know what you think in the comments below got a brandon nimmo nice francisco alvarez future stars So the numbering is like in, the, in a weird spot this year the bottom left so curious to see how that looks in person hopefully we pull a numbered card or two got a top coco montez austin wells playing pretty well as of late trey cabbage ruiz and a vladdy don't know if i'll be getting any more of this um, the case was very pricey, so I heard the blasters are like upwards of $40, and it's very tough to hit out of those, so definitely hope to cash in on some buyback. We have our first numbered card. It's going to be a purple mini diamond or purple speckle. Got a Juan Soto, 89 design, Quinn Priester. Let's see. It's going to be a twin. Royce Lewis, 299. So that's what the numbered parallels look like. It's a sharp looking card. Royce Lewis is a dangerous, dangerous weapon when he can stay on the field. Get that sleeved on up for our first numbered card, Royce Lewis. All righty. Got uh, Curtis Mead, Jordan Westberg, Jordan Adams, and Adley Rutschman on the prism. We're halfway through the box here. Going to need something to save the box here. <laughs> Coco Montez, not what the doctor ordered, but all it takes is one. Bryce Jarvis, Bryce Terang, and a Julio, all etched. Pretty cool looking card. Mason Wynn, rookie. Jaron Jones, Jared Jones, a refractor rookie. That was a really, that's a really nice one. I think he landed himself on the IL with a lat strain, but he was lights out before that. So him and Paul Skeen's gonna be a dangerous duo. At the top of the Pirates rotation. Coupled with uh, Mitch Keller, Evan Carter. Forgot he's in this release too. Vladdy. Three packs to go in the third stack here. Jimenez Refractor. Andrew Abbott, rookie. It's a cool one. Junior Caminero on the uh, sketches or strokes rookie insert pretty cool card right there right. mickey moniac these prisms look really nice we are down to the last quarter of the box you can get saved by the bell here. Jordan Belazovic, rookie. Scherzer and a Garrett Cole, all etch team. Luis Matos. Nolan Shonwell. Trevor Story. All righty. Four packs to go. Got a Justin Martinez, Lane Thomas, Freddie Freeman. Heston Kearsad, hopefully he recovers from that fastball he took to the head from uh, 
Clay Holmes, Cameron Arrow, another nice rookie there. Michael Harris, Refractor. We are getting down to it. Last two packs here. Ooh, we got a blue in this one, so we'll save this one for the end. Check out this pack. It's like already partially opened. It's kind of weird. I don't think it's tampered with. Sealed case, but can never be too careful. Parker Meadows, JP Martinez, Jazz Chisholm, and a Candelario. Let's see what our last hit of the box is going to be. Let's just get this Martinez sleeved, or this Montez sleeved up real quick. If I can just get it in the top loader. Alrighty. Blue Wave coming up. I think those are to 75. I guess we'll find out soon. Jacob Young. Tatis. It's going to be a Brewer. William Contreras to 75 to finish off the box. So pretty much right on cue with the amount of numbered cards. We got two numbered cards, one auto. So not the best hobby, but it's kind of hard to hit this year, not going to lie. So, but that was a fun rip. Still got a lot of boxes to get to. Let's do a little recap. Here are the hits. We got the Caminero rookie insert the jared jones refractor jackson holiday rookie and then we got the coco montez rookie auto william Contreras, blue wave to 75 the royce lewis to 299 that's going to do it thanks so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below and i will catch you all on the next one pet card collection out take care